And welcome back to The Factor Uncensored. This weekend, my charity organization, I started with Jatine Patel, is the Dolly Rose Foundation. We came together with some high-profile Houstonians Sunday to give to those who are in need. That included hot meals and bags of toiletries. Those who stepped up with us are sharing why it's so important to help your fellow man. I'm a member of the community, so whenever things like that come through, I have to be right there. I have to represent. I mean, you know, I've been over here. I've been having my business for 23 years, and this is the community that has given me everything that, that I really, you know, have. So, so it's important to help the community. And I know some of these members are, you know, are not that privileged as much as we are. So we need to, you know, this is basically a form of gratitude, giving back, you know, being grateful for what you have. Very blessed to have what I have. We work hard for whatever we do. There's so many unfortunate people out there that need some help. Um, it's pretty much giving back for, for really good reasons. I'm blessed for, for what I have, so I want to give back to who needs it the most, too. This is the community that made me also, you know, as a rapper, too, you know, and I just feel like, you know, giving back is part of what we need to do, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's part of being blessed. You know, to be, a, to be blessed, you got to be a blessing. So, you know, we're just doing our thing. I wonder what it is. This is better give than receive. Um, be an example of, you know, how to give back and how to enjoy the blessing and give others a blessing. You know, I like being a part of it. It brings a good feeling to us. And, you know, it's just part of what we do. So I'm very thankful. Good feeling inside. Uh, the Browns family have been doing it for years. So it's just uh, give to receive. And then, you know, just the, the smile on the face gives me a, a great feeling. It's paramount. You know, um, we're living in a day and time where people are hurting. And the, the best cure for, for hurt is hope. And uh, opportunities like this, it, it just give people hope. Um, and that's what we're all about, uh, whether it's giving food, toiletries, uh, just time or a smile or a hug. You know, hope is what we want to dish out today and, uh, and hope that it continues to, to kind of spread and snowball throughout the city of Houston so that we can be that, that example and that model for the rest of the country. And, of course, we want to thank everyone who participated in that charity effort over the weekend. And we plan to do it again and again and again. Our next event is in uh, November for Thanksgiving. And we will be giving the kids toys in December. So look out for those events from the Dolly Rose Foundation. Once again, thank you all for your help and your support in giving back to the community. Well, ahead here on the Factor Uncensored, he had a successful business, luxury car, and was not short on money. So what drove a Houston man to rob a bank more than 15 years ago? We take him back to the scene of the crime as he reflects on the mistakes he made and how he's righting his wrong now. 